Have you been working on a character? And then you get it looking pretty good. Then you move on to rigging and suddenly everything is clipping into each other and it just ruins how your character looks. And from that, you spend hours trying to search through different forums and everything and trying to just mess around with all the different settings and fixing everything and nothing works for you. This was exactly me when I got started and I've got two easy solutions that will get this done for you. So by the end of this video, you'll learn everything you need to know to fix your character's clipping with all your clothing and all of that. Let's hop into it right now. The main reason that you get so much clipping when rigging your characters is that you have so many different layers that are working with each other. And if you use Blender's built-in weight paint system, these are basically just gonna react differently to all the different bones. If you've never done weight painting inside of Blender, basically each bone will have a section of the mesh that it controls. And this is defined using weight paint groups. All you need to do to check this is select the model, press control tab and go to weight paint mode. Then click on the little green triangle and this will bring up every single bone that controls your mesh. Now in the weight paint view, you'll see a heat map of each group inside of here. So you can actually see what bone controls what part of your mesh. So basically there's two main ways that you can actually fix this. Let me walk you through the way that's more simple, but will require a lot more little tweaking and kind of going back and forth to get your character done. And then after that, I'll walk you through my favorite way of getting it done, which hopefully works for your character. So here is a character I'm currently working on. So now I'm going to walk you through how to fix this by changing your weight paints, which is more time consuming than my method and will just take a lot more kind of testing out to see what will work. But this means that you don't have to actually change your model. So let's walk you through it right now. Firstly, what you can do if you've never worked through weight painting before, all you have to do is select a model that has been controlled with a rig, go control tab to pull open this menu, go weight paint mode. Okay, and you can see everything turns blue. Now I go to wireframe mode to just make this look nice. You can just click up here on the top left or just go Z wireframe and then go click on this little green triangle thing and this will pull up every single bone that controls your mesh. So each bone that has a name will correspond to you over here on the right. And if I go find one that will actually have, like involve this mesh. So for example, we can probably go find the upper arm. So I'm just gonna grab the left side because I just prefer working there and you can see whether it's red is going to be controlling 100% and whether it's like dark blue is going to be controlling zero. What we can do here is basically if you have clipping, it just means that your mesh is moving too much on either side. What I like doing first is going to back to object mode and selecting my rig. What I like to do first to get this all done and just to make my life a lot easier when trying to test all the different weight paints is just to add a couple of different keyframes of the different poses that is most likely to clip or the poses that we actually gonna use for our animations. So let me show what you mean. Firstly, I'm just gonna select this arm and for the range of motion, I'm just gonna go I for keyframe here and I'm just gonna to go to frame 10, arbitrary value. I just kind of wanna keep it nice and simple and just bring it forward to kind of like the main part I'd use, press I. And then for the forearm, same thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go R over here and then go forward 10 frames and then just rotate it in like that. Cause that's kind of the range of motion of the arm. And then you can see, obviously we also gonna to need to test the kind of moving up and down kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, go to frame like 30, I guess, go I for both of these, like the arm and the forearm. Must you just going to press Alt and R to clear the rotation. Click I again. And if you want to know if your keyframes are like updated or not, if you rotate it and it's like kind of like this orangey kind of look, that means it has not been added a keyframe on. Then I go forward for 10 frames and just bring the arm down like that. And now we're ready to test all the different parts. Okay. And you can already see there's a lot of clipping. If we go to material preview, we can actually see the skin clipping through and looks awful. Okay. So let's work through all these different problems. So the first thing I can see is that there seems to be a lot of clipping with the actual mesh with itself. And we can see there'll probably be a couple different ways that we can fix this. Firstly, what I'm going to do is just go to local view for this mesh, which is just forward slash on the keyboard like that. I'm going to go tab to go to edit mode and go wireframe. And instantly I can see that I have some faces overlapping. And the way I can tell that is you can see like these faces over here are the specific shade of gray. And then this one is a little bit lighter. And then these ones are even lighter. So that basically means that there's a lot of faces on top of each other. And what I'm going to do is select everything and go M by distance. Okay. And you can instantly see that these are no longer like that. So obviously you can see the parts that actually should be overlapping are like that are the right shade, but everything else is a consistent same color. So that can fix it. Uh, just parts of it already. 
And if I go forward slash again to bring back everything else, we can see now we just don't have the mesh clipping with itself and we just have to worry about the actual clothing and the body. Firstly, we have to actually work with the weight paints. If you never work with weight paints, it's pretty simple. Go control tab, go back to weight paint mode and go Z and wireframe just to get this kind of view here. And you'll see this is basically why I've set up the specific like animation is because I can kind of flip through here and see what is the main problem and what I need to change. I'm just going to go here and find the bones that are most likely to affect this. So if we see that the arm is moving and that's the problem thing that's causing all the clipping, then let's go find the arm bone. So I'm going to scroll up here and it should probably be named like upper arm. There we go. And I can see that this bone has a lot of influence and it's kind of influencing down here, which it probably shouldn't be doing as much. And if this is the part that's moving too much and this is why it's clipping, this fixes. So go to the top left, open up this menu and change from draw, which is the default to subtract. And then over here, you can see you have strength and radius. The hotkeys are F and shift F, or you can just change it here. Or you can actually just press right click and it'll pop up with this little menu. If you see here and I start like left clicking, you can see I can just remove some of this thing. And you'll notice that sometimes there's little parts like this, which has a slight low blue shade, which is actually getting affected by this, which it shouldn't be. So sometimes it's nice just to kind of clean up everything here and kind of just bring the influence down of some of these bones just because the built-in weight paint system, it just sometimes just gets way too much influence with these bones. All right, so now we've done, like just removed a little bit there. Let's see how that changes it. So if I play here, you can see now it's actually moving too little. You can see the body is actually moving like further out. That kind of moved from there to there. The clothing parts stay the same. So this is what I meant by you have to play around with it and test it a lot. So what I'm going to do is change this back to draw and I'm going to change the strength quite low and then just start clicking until actually that works almost instantly. Just click until it kind of moves the same amount as the body. Same thing here. Just going to left click and this seems to be a good value. Maybe there. The, so if I click here, you can see this is moving too far away from this black line, which is the body underneath. So I'm actually going to go subtract now and I'm going to do the opposite. I'm just going to kind of remove a little bit. And you can see there that cleaned up that section there. So now we've kind of dealt with the first part, which is just bringing the arm forward. So you'll see a lot of little tweaking can help you get to the desired result. So for everything, you can kind of do the exact same thing. You're just going to have to run through every single part, see what parts are clipping and what aren't and if you can fix them by tweaking all the different, different values. By the way, if you want to learn my whole workflow for creating characters inside of Blender, check the link in the description to get my free guide right now. Back to the video. Now let's hop on to the second method, which is the method that I use for most of my characters. Let me just hop straight in and show you exactly what I do. If I open this character, what you can see is that the clipping is basically just caused when the body underneath is not moving as much as the, the clothing or is moving too much. So. The easiest way to fix it is just deleting the parts underneath. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a backup. So this can either be done by just selecting your whole mesh and just go shift and D to duplicate and then just go M new collection and just call it like backup. And if you go create, then you can see we have this little collection over here with backup and this has all our files here. And then you can either just hide it or my personal favorite, just click on this little box and that will just get rid of it and doesn't really act as if it's in your scene. Now, the other way is just going file, save incremental, or just go save as, and we can even just call it like name of the file backup. Basically, what I end up doing is merging all these different parts together and getting rid of the parts that don't need to be there. If we take a look at this, the main part we have to get rid of is this kind of base body mesh. The first thing I'll do is figure out what part needs to be kept and what parts needs to be get rid of. So obviously, I have the shorts and the bod, like the shoes. That's completely fine. You get rid of that part there. The whole body is taken up by the shirt all the way along the arms. Basically, all I need is the face and probably like a little bit of the neck just to make sure that we don't have any problems and the hands. That's all I need. So I'm just going to click and to do this, I'm just going to go select the body mesh and then going to go Z and Y frame. I'm just going to go drag select this whole bottom part. And then my favorite way to select stuff is using C. So it just pulls up this menu. You can scroll to change the size and then left click to add. And then you can see I'm just going to leave the sort of loop going around here just so we don't delete any parts of the neck. I'm just going to select this arm and then just leave the base of the hand like that. Cool. Go X vertices and bam, we've done part of this. Now I'm just going to go here and what I'm actually going to do is for the hand, I'm just going to select this and what I've actually like doing, especially for this, which is supposed to end up as like a PS1 style character, go extrude this out, go S0, there you go. I'm just going to actually go M at center 
And you'll see now if we select this, it's just one vertice, not like a bunch of them sitting on top of each other. Uh, and I'm just going to make sure that it actually points up the arm. There we go. And you can see now we have this working and you can see we don't have any parts that can be seen through. So we selected a good amount for the body. Now we have to go through and merge everything. So the way to do the merging is firstly, you have to go through your modifiers and see which ones you do need and which we don't need for merging. So go to the modify tab. And what I'm going to do here is choose the ones that I don't need or apply the ones that I do right now. I have a mirror, a solidifier and an armature. Obviously, we can leave the armature on because we want our bottom, like our whole mesh to follow our rig. And we need a mirror just for modeling, but we could probably actually apply that. But we do definitely need to get rid of the solidifier because some models are going to have a solidifier, some parts aren't. To apply the solidifier, if you just go like here, apply, it's actually going to cause quite a few problems over here. You'll see the meshes is kind of like clipping through each other and all of that in the front, and it's just not going to be fun. So what you actually have to do is go apply your mirror first. You just hover over and press Control A and then apply your, your solidifier. But before you do that, let me show you a quick way to just make your life a lot easier. So depending on what type of clothing you have and if you're using solidifier, using the only rim option, which will save you a lot of time and will just help a lot for the clipping as well. So if you see here, if I look here, I have a piece of clothing that has two layers. That's because of the solidifier. But if I change it to only rim, you can see it gets rid of half of that and it just has this bottom like edge part and then you have the outside edge which is great up until you come to a part like this for the collar which you can see it's doing what it's supposed to be doing because basically i just took this mesh and folded it over so it just doesn't work for me in my case so i'm going to leave only room on and show you how to fix this yourself so turn your solidifier on or apply it then i'm going to go forward slash again to go to local view then go tab to go to edit mode and i'm just going to select this inside room with alt and left click then go x and delete or you can just go h and then i'll show you how we do the h part so what we're doing here is basically we have if we have two layers like this um or this is kind of give you an example of we have a little u shape u shape part if we had a solidify to it that does this what we need to do is if we want to just delete this inside bit, we just need to get rid of these like little caps. Um, and then we can select the inside bit because they're two separate meshes. So what we're doing here is if I just go to the inside and then the other section we need to select is this sort of inside bit. Someone's going to go H over here and we can just hide it because that's effectively the same as deleting it in terms of how we select everything. So over here, I'm just going to press L. And you can see that selects the links and it only selects the inside bit. Then I can go Alt and H. Now bring back the parts that I selected and hid. And let's go X faces. And you can see now I've deleted the whole inside. And there we go. We're pretty done. So I'm going to forward slash to go back to the normal view. And then do the shorts are actually completely fine. We don't need to, I don't have to still find them. So what we can actually do, just select two parts, go Control J to join them together. And then we can use vertex snapping to bring them together. And actually, it turns out I don't need this face over here. So I'm going to select this ring and delete those because we want these vertices to kind of snap to each other. So I think I might have actually had them done, but I'll show you how to get them snapped. So at the top, go over here, go to vertex. And what we can do here is if we select a point and then we have another point, we use this G and then hold control to snap to it. And you see here, we can just go around and just snap all these points together like this. Okay. And then these points are obviously on top of each other. They still there so we want to select everything and go m and bar distance and you can see at the bottom remove five vertices and this whole edge is five vertices so we're done no we've done the right thing and i think i actually messed up i forgot to get rid of my mirror or apply it before merging these two models so what i'm going to do is just go delete this uh, drag up here and just select the left side go x vertices and there we go if you have like different mirrors that need like rely on different objects you might have to fix that but it's all good now that you've learned all that you need to know about fixing your clipping of your character you may be making some massive topology mistakes that can also drastically hurt your character when rigging and animating you so click over here to learn more right now see you